PetVivo is a company that's working with a, a tool that helps with the management of osteoarthritis when it comes to horses and dogs and cats at some point in the future. And with me is the CEO, John Lai, to bring us up to date on the company. I remember when we talked last time, you had just reached that big partnership with MWI Animal Health, and that's progressing as you expected? Yes, uh, actually probably better than what I have expected. Awesome. You know, so, you know, uh, to summarize on the product, it's a naturally derived product that mimics cartilage and tissue, and uh, spring with osteocushion uh, is a very innovative and disruptive tool in the management of osteoarthritis, lameness, and also rehab in horses and dogs, uh, because we have found that in real world applications, uh, dogs are recovering 50% faster after surgery and stuff like that for rehab. So, so there, there's multiple benefits. Yeah. So our, our market really is much larger than what you expect in the total addressable market because we're providing a solution for an individual that can't afford a joint surgery and the dog is so bad they have to put the animal down. Mm. We're providing something that's relatively inexpensive that will extend the life of that animal for the next maybe one to three years more and that's significant when you're talking dog year yeah. and the enjoyable time and it's also increasing the quality of life for the animal because we're finding mobility increase and reduction in pain. So talk to me about the actual product. What, what is it exactly? How do you explain the spring product? So we developed this protein particle matrix out of uh, the base proteins are collagen and elastin which are building blocks of human tissue mm -hmm. and cartilage. Uh, the carbohydrate is heparin. We, we, our proprietary manufacturing process creates this matrix once it's injected. So we sell this product to veterinary doctors. The veterinary doctors inject it into any articulating joint. Once it's in the joint, it fills in the area where cartilage used to be. And it's pretty interesting when you have these microscopes that can track all this and you see it going into the voided areas. But once the particle goes in there, it starts to form a scaffolding. And that scaffolding mimics the cartilage that used to be there. And these particles are wet and lubricious. So every time the dog runs or jumps, it's actually lubricating the joint okay. and preventing the bone on bone contact. So you don't have the friction and creating the inflammation and, the and pain. pain. And all correct, that. Yeah. correct. Okay. Now, uh, also last time we talked, we talked about your ethos clinical study. So, Lay the groundwork, what is that? And you mm -hmm. are about done with the, that study, correct? Yeah, so this study is on a specific joint within the canine space. Um, the study should be done near third to fourth week of October. Now, it doesn't get published until it's peer reviewed, so that's probably another five, six month process. Oh. But they do release an abstract probably 35 to 40 days later. It'll say, this is the results we have, but it hasn't been peer reviewed. But it, we believe it's pretty significant because um, the organization that's doing the study is very well respected and they ask if they can submit it to a couple of really prominent journals. I don't think you would be doing that if you had right. bad data. Like Go in there and I know. Buried I know. And, okay. and, and, you know, so we'll be able to present that at many of the uh, of the trade shows, which is very significant because that's where all the vets go to uh -huh. to learn about new, new uh, information in the industry. And you know, that leads us into the MWI uh, exclusive distribution agreement because that study will help the MWI small animal salespeople mm -hmm. really push the product because you know, we have gotten really good traction within the equine space mm -hmm. because the performance horses, veterinary doctors see these horses all the time so they know there's an improvement, uh, there's a faster recovery time between performances. So with a small animal, a veterinary doctor injects the dog, they may not see him for six months to a year. Mm -hmm. And then when they come back, they say, wow, this dog is doing extremely Something worked. well. Something worked, yeah. Yeah, and uh -huh. so it takes a little longer time for the small animal vet to adapt. That's why right See. now going into the MWI partnership, we had probably 90% of our sales were in the equine market mm -hmm. and 10% in the canine. So we expect that to change over time just by the raw number. There's 54 million dogs in the United States and about uh, 14 million horses. So okay. you can see the numbers right, yeah. will change uh -huh. uh, over time, but, but it's good to have that base 
of horses because 31% of the horse vets also treat small animals. Okay. Yeah. Oh, very interesting. So, and we can't forget about our cat friends. Yes. Um, so, so that so study's <laughs> starting in November. I'm all okay. excited about it because um, <laughs> Dr. Ann Zuzer, who is our small animal vet, she loves cats. So she just was cheering, Jack, you got to keep pushing. Uh -huh. So we, we got the agreement. We did the protocols. Uh, the group doing the research says, okay, this is significant if we do this data type of study. So they'll start, and that's probably from, from publishing nine months. Okay. Yeah, six to nine months, it all depends. Uh, the good thing is recruiting cats are much easier than recruiting dogs for the studies. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> and this has been, it seems like a pivotal year for you uh, with the partnership. And how does 2023 look? What kind of things are you looking to accomplish next year? So we got the internal system with MWI and us put together. It's their ADI system for ordering and tracking. So they use artificial intelligence and automatic ordering for distribution centers. Uh, at the end of September, we shipped to multiple distribution centers within the United States, and we were very happy with the initial sell-through. It's really difficult because to really judge off the sell-through because there was pent-up demand going into it. So you get a surge of orders that sells through to the vet. Um, obviously, I, you know, it'll plateau, and then we'll figure out how it goes from there. Yeah. But, but as more clinical data comes out, yeah. we, we look at doing extremely well. And over the next six months, we probably have four other studies coming out. Oh, interesting. Yeah. There's going to be a lot of data to pour over, it sounds like, over the next six months or Yeah. So. Our people get to talk about it at the major trade shows. And, you know, one of the big things with MWI is they have the educational arm, Securos, which gives the veterinary doctor continuing ed education credits, mm -hmm. what they have to do on an annual basis, and they'll be able to show the spring product, how it's different compared to the competitors, the longevity, and naturally derived. Yeah. Okay. Well, great to get an update, John. Thank you so much. Thank you. Good seeing you yeah, again, thanks. Jane. Uh -huh.